let's talk about the ways in which they suck. The cool thing is this is a real short list. We've really beat on these, we've taken them out, and they're obviously waterproof, they obviously take a lot of abuse. I was concerned about the microphone, this little wonky bit, I'll show you right here, on the cable, this little box, that's the microphone hidden in there, that's, that's the mic. Um, we were scared that that might have some waterproof issues. Nope, totally fine. Took it out, put it underwater, shot a bunch of great video. It's great, the optics are fine, the video is good. There's a couple things that kind of suck though. Here's one of them. On our unit, this may not be true of everybody's, but on our unit, about 25% of the time when you turn the power on, the whole image is green and shifted off to the side. I'm pretty sure that's a software bug, but it's a serious pain in the butt and it had us freaked out. So we'll see what's up with that. The other thing, and this one is very bad and easy to fix, so guys at VIO, pay attention, because this is one that you can fix. On the bottom here is a little cover, which you have to open a lot, and there's a little thumb screw, which you just turn that, and here I'll show you what I'm doing. You turn the thumb screw there, and it's a captive screw, which is good. It's a great bit of engineering, so you can't lose the screw. And then you just pop this cover off with a coin or your trusty Swiss Army knife or whatever, and this comes off. And they even, look at this, there's a little foam pad, they put a little Vaseline around the thing, so it's a good watertight seal, and it's great, because inside here is a lot of super delicate things. There's the SD card goes in there, it's really dark, so you can't see this very well, but there's an SD card in there, there's a USB slot, there's mic in, and audiovisual out, so you've got a lot of inputs hidden in here, so you want to have a good seal, and that's important, and this, this is the perfect solution for that. The problem is, the little thumb screw goes into a brass insert, which is right in there. That's the little brass insert. And the brass insert is set into a relieved area in the plastic. And the way they did it is the plastic around it is low, and here I'll, I'll show you, the plastic around it is like all low, the bottom of the thing, and then they raised up a little piece of plastic, and then they put the insert in that, and it's a press fit insert. Well, what they need to do is bring all the plastic up. So just change the mold a little bit, and if all the plastic was up, the insert would sit in a solid block of plastic and be fine. The reason you want to do this is big, gumpy, monkey, moron guys like us who pick this up, put the bottom on, and we tighten the thumb screw down, and the natural inclination, because there's a thread on it, there's, there's a slot there for using a screwdriver, is to grab a screwdriver or something. We didn't even do that. We just, I did this with normal finger pressure and I didn't do it hard. I just tugged it down nice and snug and I broke the thing. It pulled the little insert right out and it broke the little ring around it in two different places. I did this on the first day of having this. The reason it breaks so easily is because it's just set in that ring. It isn't fully reliefed in like it should be. And you could either fully relief it in and use a slightly longer screw or change the mold a little bit so that it's just flush and all the plastic is a little bit thicker. But either one of those would fix this really simple fundamental problem. And the device is designed to be super rugged, bulletproof, works you know, every time, no problem. So that's something where you're gonna wanna change it because we broke it in the first day. So, but aside from that, it's great. I really, I, those are the only complaints, is that it's kind of twitchy and it doesn't always boot properly. Maybe that's a software issue that'll be fixed in a future firmware update, we're hoping. Um, but I bought this, you know, after they had the most recent firmware update out, so that was fine so far. So, yeah, aside from that, this is amazing. It's a fabulous toy, and you're going to see this used a lot for Geek Group videos, because we do a lot of stuff where, with things where a normal camera would be unsuitable, and this will let us do a lot of stuff where mounting cameras on robots, or doing stuff with thumper, or high voltage rigs, and things like that. So it's going to be pretty cool, and you'll see a lot more of this. So all in all, it's an excellent product. Um, this was not sponsored by VIO. They gave us a little bit of a discount on it, but it wasn't donated. We actually did pay for this. And it was worth it. It's worth the money. It's a great camera. They're really cheap. You can get these for like about five, six hundred bucks for a whole setup. And they've got a lot of different options. There's a Mariner version, which comes with this balance thing for using it on a boat. There's a the Moto version. But there's a million options for it. The whole idea is it's a super flexible, portable camera solution. And beyond that, it works great. The only other problem we've had with it at all probably isn't a problem of the camera. The uh, files that come off of it are of kind of a funny codec or something, so we haven't found a single computer that just worked well with the files. And if you take the files off this and load them into Sony Vegas, there's no audio. No idea why. 
Maybe the VIO people can comment on that. Maybe another VIO user has figured out a way to get these to work well in Sony Vegas, but it shows up in the computer. When we copy the files off, there is audio, and the audio plays if you just play the file. But if you try to load into Sony Vegas, no audio. So if you guys can help us out on that, we'd appreciate it. Well, that's a quick look at the, the uh, VIO camera system. I don't know if it's VIO or VIO. Somebody's going to write in. Probably one of the people at the company is going to send me a letter and be like, what are you talking about? Ah. Well, hey, you didn't pay me to do the video, so bite it. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And that's our review on the VIO camera system. It's uh, the POV 1.5 Moto. You guys have fun. We're going to go back to work. See ya.